projected all around. He was saying Bolt, Powell, Blake. This is feeling more like the Olympic finals. A lot of people possibly can't look. They don't want to watch. They, they're waiting for the gun. They're anticipating all kinds of emotion going on right now. Powell is in three. Bolt is in five. Blake is in seven. So some distance between those key runners. Shit. Up they go. Powell is up well. Bolt has work to do. Powell is ahead of Bolt and the rest of the field. Asafo Powell. Blake comes forward on the outside. Johan Blake wins. Bolt looks to be second. Powell looks to be third. Johan Blake dismisses his team semi-final performance and dismisses the field in 9.72, the fastest time he has ever run. The world champion stamps his class on the 100 meter field in Jamaica. Johan Blake delivers the big one. Bolt is beaten. I think the stadium is in shock right now. The people, you look at their faces, they cannot believe that Usain Bolt was just beaten in the national stadium. Again, he did not get a good start. His start has been bothering him all season. And we look here, Asafa Powell is ahead, looking really good. But Johan Blake, you're not seeing him right now on the screen. Here he comes on the right-hand side of the screen, really pushing forward. Usain really trying to get there, looking over to his left. But Johan Blake getting that win and of course we saw a 9.72 seconds we're not sure again about the time if it's correct or not but if it is correct that's an incredible run here from Johan Blake and of course a personal best for him personal best and we're leading to it would be what a tremendous finish from Johan Blake Powell Wheat is in the last 20 meters Bolt comes and snatches second from him but Johan Blake who didn't look impressive at all in the semis, drops 9.75, his fastest time ever, and he goes into the big times. And a lot of people are saying that he hasn't done anything, he hasn't passed 9.80, but of course, what a fabulous run there. I think Renee, I know that girl, she, <laughs> Renee is saying what just happened a while ago. Um, of course, I think the national stadium is saying Usain Bolt, 9.80. 86, of course, not his best time this season. Asafa Powell, 988. Michael Freita, 9.94. Oh my God, Nesta Carter, 10 0 1, and Kemar Bailey Cole, 10 flat. There we go. A fantastic relay team there. Asafa Powell, I think the crowd is happy that we didn't see him pulling up with any groin injury or any injury whatsoever. And a fantastic run there from all three men. So, racers topping MVP. It's 1 2 for racers, 3 4 for MVP. Uh, Powell beaten into third spot. Bolt finishing fast, the snap second from him on the line. But Johan Blake, his top end speed is what won it for him. His last 40 meters explosive, and he got away from Bolt and snatched a brilliant victory here in a personal best time of 9.75 seconds. And of course, Asafa looked like he's having some discomfort right now. There's a physiotherapist, both ladies with him. And I guess they're taking him back to possibly the physio room just to make sure that he's okay. But nevertheless, um, a third place for him, and he's on the team. That's for sure. So the top three for most people, predictable, but certainly not in the order that we have now seen it with Def Blake, Bold, and Powell. Definitely not. I expected Usain to run this time. I said 9.72 um, for Usain Bolt. We saw 9.72 on the screen, but they rounded out to 9.75. Johan Blake um, winning the national championship. Usain Bolt not having the best, best start and getting second in that race. Usain Bolt there being hounded by reporters. Interesting to know exactly what his post-race comments are, but uh, he looked, as we said, pretty untidy in the semi-finals earlier on this evening, and uh, his effort tonight may be a little bit worrying to his his coach.